How dare this movie make me listen to this song like a hundred times. It's so good though. Rocket to the Moon. I would play it, but YouTube wouldn't like that. So I will not. What is up, Netflix fans? Welcome back to my channel. Netflix, they are really churning out these original animated films. And you know what? Last year with Klaus and now this film, not going to reveal my thoughts, but um, they're doing something right. We're going to talk about it. I need you in the comments down below. Are you excited for Over the Moon? Let's do it. So, an adventurous girl builds a rocket ship to meet a mythical goddess on the moon. Featuring Margaret Cho, Sandra O, oh, Ken Jong, John Cho, my goodness, my goodness, this cast is incredible. And we have some producers here who have worked on those classic and wonderful Disney films. And to deliver on that magic is a difficult task. But I believe Over the Moon delivered on the magic. Is the film itself familiar? Yes. Does it uh, break any new ground in terms of what we've seen before from these types of animated films? Not necessarily. I mean, we've gotten over the last few years uh, a movie like Moana, a movie like Frozen, where these female protagonists, they go on a grand adventure. But there's always something else to it, whether it's a story that deals with family, a relationship between two siblings. In this case, um, it is a girl trying to accept what life is right now with just her father, whereas everyone around her it feels like they're trying to move on from what she knew in the past and that tragedy there. She's still focused on that. And someone in her situation, as young as she is, uh, wouldn't you be? And that's something that we can relate to. And a beautiful story there uh, where she goes on this adventure and there are some very magical things that happen that will, you know, put a tear in many people's eyes. But again, it all comes down to how they handle it. And, you know, they don't do anything revolutionary here. The visuals are outstanding. I mean, colorful, beautiful. I felt like I was watching uh, almost Wreck-It Row for the first time when they go to Candyland, and it's just this beautiful array of different colors all coming to life on screen. I, I thought the animation here, uh, and, and really just the style, the way that the characters moved, it all looked great. And then we come back to Earth, literally... And metaphorically, and that relationship with her father is a bit strained. There's a stepbrother character that comes into her life, and it's like, oh, gosh, he's annoying. I don't really want him here. It's just someone that I can let into my life. And it's just this ongoing series of themes as they go on this adventure. Uh, and we see this grand, visual, lush world with interesting characters, one in particular voiced by Ken Jong. And it feels like every movie like this has to have either the wacky character like Olaf, the cute character like a baby Groot, or a baby Yoda. This is almost a combination of those things, and he's really funny. He's really good in the movie. I do think the best comparison to make here, honestly, is Coco. We're talking culture, we're talking customs within this family, and how that applies to her adventure, and uh, being this grand visual world like what we saw in Coco. Now, is this as good as Coco? No. I don't think the emotional beats hit as well, and I do think the story is, again, so familiar. The narrative is uh, one that we've seen countless times. You can almost feel, and I don't want to say interference, you, you can almost feel the studio coming in, handing those notes to the director director, please do this, do that, hit that story beat, here's how we're going to wrap it up. It's kind of how the movie goes, so that's unfortunate, but for what families are looking for with this movie, what young kids are going to be looking for, uh, I, I think this movie is going to deliver on all of those things. Never went beyond that, but that's okay, right? Over the Moon is still really fun, a great lead character, great relationships, a sweet story at the end of the day, and it hits those emotional beats that I didn't think this movie would hit. So all in all, before I give you guys my score, appreciate you for watching big time. Stay tuned, more reviews to come. And if you enjoy this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Over the Moon gets a 73% from me. And uh, again, Netflix with the animated movies, they said they're gonna start making more. I don't blame them because I have a feeling this is going to be a success and I have a feeling the song will get stuck in your heads like it will mine. So I ask you guys, can you sing? Because I can't. I don't want to do that on camera. Appreciate you guys very much for watching. And the last few days, I've been watching a lot of major awards contenders. I am working on a giant ranking video of all of the film festival movies I have been watching. So stay tuned for that. More Netflix reviews, as always. And uh, comment some stuff that you'd like to see. All right, appreciate it, guys. See you later.